Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is all about crypto. Now I'm pretty sure you've heard of cryptocurrency in the news, social media, or just talking with your friends and family, but do you understand it? Well, if you've done any research on it, you may have found yourself even more confused, but don't worry. I've done all the research for you. And this video will help you understand what cryptocurrency is, how it works, the future of crypto, and even if it's a good investment or not. I'm Crystal, CPA at Life Accounting, where we help you boost your profits and reduce your taxes, which is what this channel is all about. So please go ahead and like and subscribe to our channel for more videos. It really helps us out. Now let's dive right in with what cryptocurrency is. Simply put, cryptocurrency or crypto is a digital currency. Digital currencies are only available in electronic form, opposed to physical currency like the dollar bill. Digital currencies work like physical currencies in the sense that you can use it to buy goods and services from vendors who accept digital currencies. But how does cryptocurrency really work? And what makes it valuable? Cryptocurrency operates in a decentralized system. It is not backed by the bank or the government. There is not a banking system that supplies, transfers, or holds the money. In this way, no entity regulates or controls cryptocurrency. Instead, it is a currency in which transactions are verified and records maintained by a decentralized system using cryptography or digital code rather than by a centralized authority. Cryptography is a method of protecting information through the use of codes so that only those for whom the information is intended can read and process it. Let me illustrate this for you. Let's say you go to lunch with your friend Lee. Lee pays for lunch, but since Lee always pays, you insist on sending him your share using cryptocurrency. Using Bitcoin, for example, you initiate a transaction by sending Lee three Bitcoins. In your transaction, you make sure to send the Bitcoins to Lee's wallet address. Every Bitcoin user has a public wallet address or public key. You can sort of think of the wallet address as an email address. The transaction then goes through a hashing encryption algorithm. The encryption algorithm includes all of the transaction details, including who the sender and receiver are and the amount being sent. Also included in the encryption algorithm is your private key. Only you know your private key. Your private key acts as your signature to the transaction as the sender. The transaction is now transmitted to the rest of the Bitcoin network using Lee's public key. However, the transaction can only be decrypted using Lee's private key, which only he has knowledge of. This ensures that only Lee can receive your Bitcoins. These transactions are validated and are being added block by block to a blockchain. A block can be thought of as a single transaction, like the three Bitcoins you sent to Lee represents a block. Blocks or transactions are validated by miners. As you saw, your transaction is transmitted to the rest of the Bitcoin network as public information. This helps ensures the integrity of the transaction. Miners see this and validate it by solving a complicated mathematical problem. The miner to solve this first is rewarded with a certain amount of Bitcoins. The process of solving this mathematical problem is called proof of work and is how the currency is created since miners are rewarded with Bitcoins. Once validated, yours and other transactions are added to the blockchain where it cannot be changed or removed. With this mining process, yours and Lee's wallet is updated with yours showing three less Bitcoin and Lee's showing three additional Bitcoins. There are other types of cryptocurrencies besides Bitcoin, such as Ethereum, Dogecoin, and Binance. They each may have slightly different features with how their currencies are exchanged, but the general process remains the same. They all use blockchain technology to exchange currency. Now let's talk about some of the advantages and disadvantages of cryptocurrencies. Some of the advantages are there isn't a third party intermediary involved like a bank or the government zero banking fees. It's more confidential. Each transaction is a unique exchange between two parties, which protects users from identity theft, easier international transactions. It's quick. Transactions happen in a matter of minutes compared to bank transactions, which oftentimes take several hours or days. 
Some disadvantages of cryptocurrencies are it's volatile. There is a lack of inherent value of cryptocurrency, which also explains the highs and lows of its market value. It is difficult to understand. Cryptocurrency is based on blockchain technology, which was only introduced in recent years. It is understood by very few. Lack of regulation, which makes it difficult for the government to track down users, which can be okay, but can also be a breeding ground for money laundering and criminal activity. No refunds. If you accidentally pay someone, there is no guarantee that you would get your money back. What does the future of cryptocurrencies look like? Crypto is a very new concept, and if you feel left behind, don't. Only about 15% of Americans own some form of cryptocurrency, though that is expected to increase. Companies like PayPal have started to allow its users to buy and make transactions with cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin. Visa and MasterCard have also joined the crypto wave by publicly endorsing the use of Bitcoin. Overall, cryptocurrency is not only attracting individual investors, but also financial institutions and large corporations that are looking to profit from the emerging trend of digital assets. With its rising popularity, it's fair to say that it is only a matter of time before more laws and regulations are imposed on the use of cryptocurrency. Just recently, the White House announced new tax reporting requirements for cryptocurrencies and crypto asset exchange accounts or businesses that receive crypto assets of $10,000 or more. There's even a question on individual tax returns now that acts about virtual currency transactions. Furthermore, the Federal Reserve is conducting studies that explore a move to a central bank digital currency. Results from the studies are expected to be released in summer 2021. This comes shortly after China bans financial institutions from cryptocurrency business. Now, the verdict is still out whether or not investing into cryptocurrency is wise or not. Investor Warren Buffett has said, quote, cryptocurrencies basically have no value and they don't produce anything in terms of value, zero. Whereas fellow billionaire investor Elon Musk has said, quote, I do at this point think Bitcoin is a good thing and I'm a supporter of Bitcoin. And I think Bitcoin is really on the verge of getting broad acceptance by conventional finance people. Ultimately, it comes down to you, the investor. What do you think of Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies in general? Why don't you leave your thoughts in the comments? I hope you enjoyed today's video and I'll see you in the next one.